Hello and welcome to my channel once again. Today I'm going to show you how to format your document to up upload it to Create Space um, to be printed as a paperback. So let's go. I have my document prepared in um, Microsoft Word. This, this version is 2007. So we're going to start with that. At least if you don't if you don't have this version, at least you, you can have an idea how to go about doing this. So let's start. So um. We will, the first thing we need to do is set our document um, size to a, a different size. This is recommended by Create Space. So we're going to start with, um, let's go into page layout. I'm going to choose size. Then we're going to go down to other page sizes. And we're going to make this document with a width of 6 and height of 9. So our goal is to have a document of six by nine for create space. Okay. So we may get a little distortion, but we could just adjust that as we go along. Okay. So now remember we, we increase create space. We are printing a, a physical book. So if you have any hyperlinks in your book, you need to remove that because of course in a physical book, um, the hyperlinks would not work. And as in addition to that, you have to let me just show you my table of contents. Um, this was basically linked up to hyperlink to chapters of the book. Um, you will have to insert some page numbers um, for the physical book. Now, at the moment, the book has no page numbers. So that's the next thing we have to do um, is to insert some page numbers. So let me just go and remove these links that I have for my book. I have I had a, 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 a page link that I had here. And I also had a link to my website. So I'm going to delete that for starters. Let's make a few adjustments and let's get down to a certain page numbers. Let me just, first of all, let me just scroll on to make sure I have no other um, links to my book. Let's see. Okay, I have a picture of a cat that I used to insert when I first started. I no longer use that. A little friendly image at the end of the book. And I'll also remove these links at the bottom as well too. This was a link to... Um, for the, my reader to review my book as well as auto page again and a link to my website so I will, I'm going to delete that okay so we're going to insert the page number to our book now um, if we insert a page number right now let me show you let's go into insert and we're going to insert uh, let's see what we get sorry go to page layout my bad, sorry, insert, where is it? Here you go, page numbers. And I use bottom of the page as my pre preference and I like to use plain number number two. I like my page numbers at the center of my book. Okay, it just jumped to the last page of my book. Let's go back to the top where I want to show you. Now you'll see the first, the title page, the um, copyright pages and stuff are all, 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 all um, numbered. I don't want that. So what we need to do, I will have to break up my book into sections so that the title page and the copyright page doesn't have any page numbers. So let's get to doing that. Okay. So let me just remove that page number. Actually, we will leave it like that. So what I will do next, let's, we're going to put on the, um, click on this icon here so we can see all the formatting of our books, all the formatting in the book. All right. So we're going to start with, I want my, I'm going to put my book into two sections, make it simple. Okay. I want my page number to start from chapter one. So before chapter one, I have a page break here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this page break. Okay. And then I'm going to go into page layout. I'm going to breaks, click on breaks, and then I'm going to choose um, next page, next page break. So we're going to have, um, you're going to see here um, in our formatting, we have next section, next page. This is what we want. Okay. So if I click down here with the page, with, with, sorry, with the footer, we have our numbering. So now we'll see, if you see the section here, this is footer section one and footer section two. This is what we're looking for. So basically we could format section one differently to, to, to section two and vice versa. Okay. All right, so we're going to come down here to the footer. And this option here that says same as previous, we're going to go up here to link to previous and click on that. 
and that has been removed. So what that did was it um, copied whatever format in section one to section two and any other sections you may have um, lower down. Um, so as I took off that, whatever format that was in section one would no longer be in section two. So now that has that has been done, I like I said, I want page the page number to start from page one from chapter one. Okay, so I'm going to go to page number now and format page numbers, and I'm going to say click on start at and page. Well, it it defaults to page number one, which is good for me. I'm going to click on OK, and there you have it, page one. Let me just zoom it up so you can see. All right, so chapter one, and it's a page one. Lovely. OK, so for section one, where we have numbers that we don't want, I just basically delete those. I, it doesn't affect the numbering in section two let me just go up the other pages there are no numbering that's fine so i'm going to close off my head and footer and then i'm going to come out from the formatting to see the formatting i'm going to make my screen as the smallest so you can see exactly what's happening so my title page my copyright page there are no page numbering Table of contents is fine. And then we go to chapter one and we start with page one. Okay. So next thing we will need to do, we're going to go into the table of contents and um, insert the page numbers. So I'll just. Okay. So we can insert our um, page numbers now. You just review your book and see what page numbers where your, your chapter start at. So chapter two is at page four. And just go on until you finish um, numbering your your document. And let me just save my document. I save it as a C. Save my document in a folder where you could find your documents easy. Okay. And I think we're done. Another, th and that's basically it. So you have your document, um, you're set at six by nine, the standard format by um, create space to format your documents. Um, another key thing too, before you do anything, make sure your book is at least 24 pages minimum. Otherwise, um, create space will reject your book. Um, I'll do another video for you as to if you're so happy that your book is less than 24 pages, I will do a video um, showing you how to Format your documents so it can so it could be twenty four pages and more. All right, I think we are good. So you, when you save a document, um, you upload it to Create Space. They will review the document and then send you send you back a notification so you can review the document and make sure you're okay with it. And then they would proceed to make it live for sale. All right. So I'm just going to number the rest of the pages. So it's chapter three, it's page 10, chapter four, it's page 15, conclusion is 20. This is a very short book. All right, so we have 10. 15, 20. And even though you may have had hyperlinks for your chapters and stuff, you don't really have to go into that to remove the hyperlinks. It, it is not really, it's not really a problem. When it goes to create space, again, the, those hyperlinks have no effect. But the one that I had on the title page, I wanted to actually move that piece of text of the ebook. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.